guys. I got scammed, all right? Fellas, I got scammed. I got scammed. I got scammed. Come on. I'm going to tell you guys all about it. What's up, YouTube? I'm Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the Fashion and Fragrance Channel. If you're into fashion and fragrance, I hope you don't mind subscribing to the channel. And don't forget, hit the bell icon as well. That way, anytime new content is uploaded on this channel, You'll be one of the first people to get notified. So guys, you see the title of today's video. It happens. Players mess up too. All right? Players mess up too. I got scammed. I got scammed. And I want to tell you guys all about it. I want to tell you what happened to me. And I also want to, more importantly, give you ways that you can avoid the same thing happening to you as well. So I'm going to go ahead and run the intro. I just want to tell you guys about this experience and and jump right into it. So stay tuned at the intro. I'm gonna tell you guys how I got scammed. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, anybody that's been following me for any amount of time knows that one of my favorite fragrances in the entire world is a fragrance from the house of Frederick Moore, and I am talking about none other than Portrait of a Man, uh, which is what I affectionately refer to it as, but of course, it is actually known as Portrait of a Lady. Now, this was actually a while ago, and I've been meaning to make this video for quite some time. Now, in full disclosure, I will say this. I kind of had a feeling that the fragrance that I was going to get, that what I was seeing online was too good to be true. So that's my first rule. If something seems too good to be true, then it probably is. Now, I've had people ask me oftentimes about a lot of the discounter websites and some of the most popular ones we're talking about fragrance x fragrance net uh joma shop um you know the discounted sites uh fragrancebuy.ca have i ever gotten any fake fragrances from those fragrance sites are they legit and in my experience i've never had a problem with any of those sites as it relates to picking up a fragrance that was not authentic I've shopped a lot over the past couple years from all of the aforementioned sites. And again, I've never had a problem with getting anything that was not authentic from any of these sites. Now, some of you may not be familiar with this, but one of the things that you can do uh, to check a fragrance is oftentimes the batch code, if you go to the website checkfresh.com, you can actually put in the, uh, the batch code. Uh, and a lot of times you can get the production date or when your fragrance was actually produced. So that's one of the ways you can kind of check, but I'll get more into that kind of stuff a little bit later in the video. I wanna go ahead and tell you guys what happened to me. Now I told you a lot of the discounted websites to me are pretty safe, at least the ones that I mentioned. But when you're shopping on places like eBay and places like Macari, uh, you definitely wanna make sure that you are a lot more attentive to what you are purchasing. And again, if something seems too good to be true, what? It probably is. So one of the things you can look for, of course, on these sites, is look at the uh, how many transactions these sellers have done, and of course, look at the feedback. Uh, that's one of the, the ways that you can kind of make sure, outside of just knowing that if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is, outside of that, a lot of times you can look at the seller's rating, and their transaction history and things of that nature to get a good feel for the person that you are buying from on these sites. But in this particular instance, the person had pretty good uh, ratings and I actually bought this fragrance off of eBay. But it seemed too good to be true. So I'm gonna show you guys a bottle and I want you guys to tell me which one you think is the legit fragrance and which one is not. Here are two bottles of Frederick Mall's Portrait of a Lady. All right, two bottles. 
You guys go ahead and take your guesses. Here's the back. Here's the caps. Here's the bottom. Now, so guys, which one is the legit fragrance and which one is not? Go ahead and guess. And if you guess this one is legit, then you would probably be right. Now, you probably could just look at it and look at the amount of juice that's left and come to that conclusion. <laughs> but outside of that, if you look at these bottles, man, they are pretty much identical. All right. The bottles are pretty much identical. So what's the issue? Well, in this particular instance, it's not even so much that the fragrance is fake, but this fragrance, when I received it, it is old. <laughs> Okay, that's the best way for me to describe it. This fragrance, this bottle of Portrait of a Lady is old. And I brought it from a seller on eBay. And I think it was listed for about 70 or 80 bucks. And the bottle is almost full. Now, again, I do content and, and I bought it with the intention of, you know, maybe doing a video because I figured out probably it was something was going to be wrong with this. But with the slight, you know, bit of optimism in the back of my mind, that this might be 100% uh, real, nothing was wrong with it. Well, let me say this. If you try, if I tried to figure this out, because I looked at all the pictures uh, that the seller had on eBay for this fragrance and the whole nine, and I compared them to the real bottle, and I really couldn't find any differences. This one actually does have a batch code, although it's now um, hard to pick it up, so you probably won't pick it up, but I'll it up here anyway but there is a batch code is very faint but there's a batch code on here in the whole nine so the fragrance is actually real the problem is this fragrance has, is super old and it has not been stored properly so i know you probably heard a lot of people talk about how you're supposed to store fragrances keep them out of sunlight um keep them in a cool place don't keep them in heat and things of that nature extreme temperatures well i think the person that had this fragrance did all of the above. I think they kept it in a warm place. I think it was <laughs> exposed to light. Uh, and now that I think about it, the seller, uh, to kind of cover their tail, I think they actually uh, said that they had bought it from like a, not a yard sale, but uh, like an estate sale or something like that. So they wasn't sure how old. I know what happened. They probably did buy it from an estate sale and they knew that it was old. But that was kind of like their little disclaimer uh, so that when I smelled it, if I actually picked up on the fact that it was old, they would kind of have a defense against that, letting me, because they would say they let me know up front that they wasn't sure how old it was. So here, here's the moral of the story, guys. The fragrance is actually real, but again, this fragrance is rancid now. I mean, you can smell it and you can tell that it's Portrait of a Lady, but it does smell stale. It smells very stale. So... Like I said, a lot of times when you're on these sites, if something seems too good to be true, then it probably is. Listen, I know we all want to run up on a great deal, but you're probably not going to find a grail batch of Creed Aventures from 2016, 2015 in a four ounce bottle, 75% full for 150 bucks. I mean, more than likely, you're just not going to run up on that kind of deal. So my point and my advice to you guys is, if you find something, especially on sites like Macari and eBay, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If you're trying to find a fragrance to avoid getting scammed or uh, somebody getting over on you, again, I like to stick to my discounted websites. Obviously, the ones that I've listed today or I named earlier are good places to look. And of course, you can actually go to uh, directly to you know the company website and purchase fragrances as well of course you're 100 percent sure to get an authentic fragrance that way or a lot of times i recommend uh going into like a lot of the fragrance swap groups and things of that nature a lot of times you can ask for feedback on somebody that's selling a fragrance to do like a legit check and people will let you know whether or not they've done business with this person before and whether or not they've had a great experience so those are just some of my suggestions that I would give to you guys to avoid being in a situation like 
you know, I found myself in here. And again, although um, I had a pretty good feeling because it sounded too good to be true, that it probably was, but I did want to make sure uh, that I went ahead and did this because I wanted to share this information with you guys because I had a lot of questions a lot of times about uh, different fragrance websites and whether or not they're authentic, whether or not they sell authentic fragrances and things of that nature. So I thought it would be a good thing to, a good way to kind of bring up that topic and give you guys some of the advice that I've learned over the last couple years or so buying fragrances online. But that's it guys, that's my time. I hope you enjoyed the video today. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. You guys don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.